All right, guys, coming at you with another video, and I, I just had to make a video on these riots. I just, I, I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Um, for the death of George, you know, obviously I think most people agree that what was done was absolutely vile. And honestly, I don't believe that third degree murder is enough. Like, that video looks so bad that honestly, I, I wouldn't put it past it if it was premeditated or planned or something like that because what happened was absolutely gruesome. I'm not going to sugarcoat that. That's awful. And it's just so frustrating when these events happen because they're going polit to be politically charged. You know, the, I saw a video a few days back in Baltimore where this, this lady was just wailing on a white officer and this black officer comes up and decks her in the face just knocks her the out i didn't see anything after that video i just saw it once it didn't get spread around at all i haven't seen it in the news not at all thank god that that officer was black because you'd have even more riots you know i also see you know that there was a, a pretty violent video of a black cop on a black citizen incident happen whether it was justified or not if that was a white cop we would have more riots now the reason why and this is a perfect storm you have the what must what what must not be named combined with the riots unemployment all this kind of stuff these people aren't protesting for the death of george they're not they're using it as an excuse to, to lunder, uh, loot and plunder innocent businesses and, and wreck innocent people for uh, some of the stuff that the beatings that I've seen are absolutely disgusting. Um, and I just, I, I just don't get it. And I, I live in the Pacific Northwest. I was thinking that if I wasn't from a big city that, you know, I, I was going to be involved in this. Damn, dude my uh downtown spokane where i'm pretty close to i i work in downtown spokane i there's riots down there i'm not going to go to work tomorrow because the riots i don't want to deal with that i don't want to have the slightest chance that some person you know comes into our building and and messes it up or someone comes in with a gun like who knows what could happen i mean it, it's just it, it is absolutely devastating. It is absolutely sad. And like I said, I don't take away from it, but this is not the answer. If you want change, and I'm more moderate, more right, fiscally conservative, but if you want change, you gotta show up to the ballot box. And I hate to break it to you millennials and Gen Z, you suck at that. You are absolutely garbage at voting. You don't vote at all. And it's not that hard to vote. If you want change, you can go ahead and vote, but you choose not to do it anyways, so I have no sympathy for that. If you want true change, that is what needs to happen. None of this looting and destroying buildings and burning cities to the ground. It's an absolute joke. I don't understand it. I will never understand that kind of response. I think there should be justice and maybe a little bit of reform for this certain type of stuff, like all the cops have to wear cameras kind of thing or something like that. A little bit of change there, but this response is absolutely ludicrous. I do not condone any of it and I think it's an absolute joke. You guys have a great day, peace.